Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to be installing a tailgate handle backup camera on this 2002 GMC Sierra. Now, in this video, we're going to show you how to integrate that camera to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Now, before we jump into things, just a quick thing to note this will be identical to a Chevy Silverado. Same technique as well as a Chevy Avalanche, uh, but the year may differ depending on what parts you need to integrate this camera to your radio. So we'll cover all that here at the bench. Okay, so we're here at the bench. The kit that we're using is this E-Coconut kit. Essentially, this kit allows you to replace the existing trim with one that has a integrated camera. Now, this will take place of the existing trim in the tailgate, so we do have to remove that and slide this one in its place. This kit also comes with plenty of split loomed wiring, which is really nice because it's all ready to go. This will be wired along the factory loom underneath the truck, then we'll pass that through the truck body into the cabin to integrate to our new aftermarket radio. Cool thing is with the Coconut brand is they actually have quite a few pass-throughs, so it gives you the opportunity either the power of the camera at the reverse light or on accessory back behind the radio. Additionally, they have a pass-through purple, so if you have the older version truck like we do, or in other words, from 99 to 2002, there's no data CAN bus, so the reverse gear trigger wire is not generated by our smart harness. Ours is just what you call a basic harness or your dumb harness where it doesn't have the smart harness module to generate the reverse gear signal. So when you put the truck in reverse, your radio automatically cycles. What we have to do is get that signal manually and we're gonna tap into the reverse light positive to tap this in. We'll cover all these connections in great detail when we get to that point. But at this point of time, let's go ahead and grab our handle trim kit and head to the truck to start getting that all disassembled. So we grabbed our metal hanger. There was a drain here at the bottom of the tailgate. We fished that hanger through there. There's actually a little space right through that we fished that on through. Now we're gonna use that hanger to pull our wire through the tailgate. We got that uh, camera all in, trim piece went in, got the handle all remounted, and we really take the handle bolts out, just give us the space we need to get everything seated. And I uh, got everything all mounted in, looks, actually looks really nice. There's the camera there. So remember that runs all down here. Now at this point in time, we need to fish the wire up underneath the truck. We also need to pull out the reverse light because we have to tap into the reverse light positive wire here because we need that for a trigger wire. Our truck is old enough, it doesn't have a smart harness, so we need to get one manually. So we'll pop that out and tap into that as well. All right, so we're here at the bench. Let's quickly talk about our harness here and all our connections. There's gonna be two ends. Connection number one, this is your video wire. This end will plug into your camera input on the back of the radio, and you have three additional wires. Red is going to be your camera power. Black is camera ground, and then purple is actually simply just passed through for a convenience factor, depending on the year in this generation truck that you have. 2003 to 2006 years of this truck, you won't need this purple wire because the smart harness, when you install an aftermarket radio, will generate that trigger for you, or that smart harness will cycle that radio to reverse whenever you're backing up automatically, which is super nice. Unfortunately, 
we are not in that year range and so in this generation the earlier years they're still on an analog system so we have to track down that trigger wire manually and we're going to find it at the reverse light so we'll pop that out hence we're going to use this purple wire this and we'll connect into the purple white or the reverse gear trigger wire of our radio and then the other end will actually connect to the reverse light positive wire so when that light turns on puts 12 volts to this wire and we'll cycle our radio over to reverse we have different variations of this technique already on on the channel and we can link those videos down in the description in case you want to see the other versions now the nice thing is the coconut has also provided these connections through the whole harness you can either connect power ground and reverse wire at the reverse light or you can do it back behind the radio um, you can do either or you don't want to do both you choose one side or the other so those are the connections that we need to make here at the truck we're going to power our camera at back behind the radio so the power and ground is going to connect to our radios harness red and black wire this will connect to the purple white on the radio and then we're not going to use the black and red on this end but this purple wire will connect to the reverse light positive wire so Without further ado, let's get started. For the end that plugs into the camera, we just, since we're not powering the camera or grounding the camera back at the tailgate area, we went ahead and just capped those off, put some heat shrink on there. And our purple wire, since we don't have a smart harness, we have to grab it manually. We actually ran up here, we extended it with a little bit more 18 gauge purple wire that we just had here in the shop. And uh, that'll run up to the reverse light positive. So we're gonna loom all this up so that all these connections are protected here. And uh, once that's done, now we can start grabbing the rest of this. Let's go get it installed and make our connection at the reverse light. All right, so we look in here, we can see where it comes down from the tailgate. Then we zip tied it right to that existing loom. And it comes on down here. Now we did have some extra wire. So we went ahead and just bundled that all together. But then we made our connection to our main harness. So you can kind of see that right up in there. We'll tape that up so it's nice and secure. Now remember there's two lines that come out of that. One is the purple that goes to the reverse light. One is the main loom that goes forward along the frame rail. The one that goes to the reverse light, we fed it up through, comes out there, and actually just goes up to the tail light cavity, or we're gonna tap into the reverse light power wire. Then the other end just simply goes forward here. There we go. Now we just took our time zip tying it to the existing loom all the way over. Just followed along the factory loom here. Now, at this point where it goes over the gas tank, it's actually easier if we go on top of the frame rail here and run it along the frame rail because you can feel the wiring there. Along the frame rail, which is right on top, right across. That's where it comes on out along the gas tank. It's probably going to be the hardest part to fish that. Then we just zip tie it along the factory loom. All the way along here, it along, zip tying along. And finally, we're right at the driver foot area. We're gonna go up through this grommet where your emergency brake line goes through. We're just gonna snag some of that rubber, pass our wire through, and feed it up into the cabin of the truck. Now where it came on up, we actually looped it around and tapped into our reverse light positive, which is this green. And uh, as you can see, that's where it fed through into the underside of the bed. Ripped it back as you saw here, and we soldered on. We'll wrap that in electrical tape and reseat the tail light. So essentially here, when this light is on, this green shows 12 volts, which we're robbing some of that uh, current there. We're gonna send along that purple wire all the way to the radio tap into the radio's purple white wire. So when this sees 12 volts, that purple white wire at the radio will, that's what will automatically cycle the radio over to the reverse image when you put the truck in reverse. All right, so we got that all taped back up, all loomed, ready to go. Let's go ahead and reseat the rear tail line.
Now we went ahead and just sliced a little hole in that grommet to fish our wire through here. And up underneath the truck, you can kind of see where that goes up through, just like so. And out of the way, we now ran that down, ran it up the kick, past the fuse panel, ran it up and over, and we fished it out into our dash cavity. Now, you'll notice that obviously the radio is already out. We didn't show you how to install the radio or wire up the harness because we did that in the first part of this video where we did the dash conversion and uh, we showed you how to wire our harness and everything like that. It's a different truck, but it's the exact same technique on this specific generation. So if you want to see that, we'll throw that video down in the description where it shows you how to replace the radio and install a doubled in in the factory location. Here, here's our radio harness again. So this is 2002 and older, so we have the older version of the harness, not the smart harness version. Now on this harness adapter, it's going to be a red and a black wire that we just teed in. When we built this harness, another red and black just ran it in parallel. Uh, that we just tapped into that. And we also have our reverse gear trigger wire, which on our Sony happens to be purple white. So we're going to grab the harness here that we ran along the truck. Let's go ahead and first do our power wire. Red will go to red, so this will power the camera on accessory, or the camera's gonna be on whenever the radio is on. Ground, black goes to black. Great, and then purple goes to our purple white. Just like that, great. So those are our three connections made. And this end will go to the camera input on the back of the radio, not AV input, it needs to be the camera input. Okay, so with everything back in, let's do a final test. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse here. Perfect, automatically cycles over, pull it out of reverse. There we are. Now, because we wired the camera on accessory, if we hit the accessory camera button, we can use the camera when not in reverse. And the nice thing about that is we can always check the low, check our chains, connections, hitch, everything uh, behind us when going down the highway, which is super nice. So we can use this camera more than just in reverse. So that's about it for this install. If you have any questions on what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. Like mentioned before, we'll link the radio install video in case you wanna see that as well. And additionally, if you wanna see any other installs on this truck, we'll link those in the description for you. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you liked what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel at the time. We'll see you in the next video.